All right, this video is how to get library books on a Nook Glowlight Plus. First, you need to have a library that has ebooks online. So you need to do that and have a library card. Log in and check out an ebook. But before you can do anything, with an ebook, you need to have Adobe Digital Editions installed on your computer. So you Google Adobe Digital Editions, and then I, right now it's the top link. It's going to look like this. This is what their homepage looks like. And then you go to download. And then over here, you want to do pick. I have Windows, so I did Windows, but you can do Mac or App or whatever. So we did Windows and downloaded it. Make sure that when you install it, that if anything else, if it asks you to install anything else, that you uncheck it so that all you're installing is Adobe Digital Editions on your computer. Just like any online platform, when you download Adobe Digital Editions to your computer, you'll have to create a username and a login, so you'll want to remember that. On the Nook Glowlight Plus, if you go to the settings, you can actually sign in to your Adobe account. So you go here, and then you go to down arrow, and then you click Adobe DRM settings and inside of there is where you can log in and attach your Nook to your Adobe account. Now that you have Adobe Digital Editions installed on your computer, you can download your ebook that you checked out on your library website. So I'm going to click I'm going to click download and I'm going to choose ePub because that's what you want to use for your Nook. And then confirm and download. Then you're going to see it wherever your downloads show up. On Google Chrome, it's going to show up down here. So when I double click on it, it's going to open it up automatically in Adobe Digital Editions. So, and then you just go back to library. Okay, and then where's it at? Right there. So then you right click on it. And, oh, you got to wait for it to sync. Okay, you right click on the book and click show in file explorer and there it is right there and you want to make sure that your nook is plugged in to the USB on your computer so you plug in the, the USB there and on your computer and then you should open it up so that you can see so there's the computer go into your nook and I like to just open it up to my files that's where I'm gonna put it so then all you do is you just grab the book you just drag it over, dump it on there, okay? So, now I go to my Nook, and I go to my library, and then I go to book, you click this, and I go to my files, because that's where I put it on my computer. And now, there it is right there. So you click on it, and boom! Just like if you bought it on the Nook store. It's easy. So once the book is copied onto your Nook, it will delete itself or stop working after 13 days or whatever. But if you want to be a nice person and return it early, because your library only has a limited number of digital copies, you want to return it early if you're done reading it. So you click on your book, you right click, and you go return borrowed item. Simple. Another thing that you want to make sure before you can do this on your Nook Glowlight Plus is you need to make sure that you have the latest software update and you do that by going to settings and you click the down arrow and software and then you click check for system update and I already did it so mine's not there but if you did it it would explain how to do it basically you just leave it leave it for a minute and it goes to sleep and then it installs itself you want to make sure it has plenty of battery to do that